Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal, your Marrow SS General Surgery faculty. And it's an absolute honor to be introducing Dr. Siddharth Sartak uh, to all of you, who secured rank five in the recently conducted INISS exam in the GI surgery component. Uh, heartiest congratulations, uh, Dr. Siddharth. Um, how are you feeling? Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I feel elated at the moment. And uh, uh, I can just say that my dream of becoming a GI surgeon, uh, I think, is nearing. So I'm really feeling happy today. That's great. GI surgery is probably the most competitive branch when it comes to super speciality. So it's, it's a great achievement. And more so, you told me that your uh, rank in NEET was 599. And to turn it around and to get a rank 5 in a few months' time, that's really commendable. Uh, so can you tell the users, um, I mean, when did you start using marrow and how did you prepare for both the general surgery and the GI surgery part? Uh, so if you can go stepwise, uh, first talk about uh, general surgery. Uh, so like uh, uh, I, uh, I completed my post-graduation in July 2021. And after that, I joined my department in my parent college only as a senior resident there. And, uh, and which uh, college is this? Can you uh, tell everyone? I mean, uh, where uh, did sir, you uh, from? I did my MBBS from Ames Bhubaneswar 2012 batch. And then I did my post-graduation from Ames Bhubaneswar in general surgery. In 2018, I joined. And in July 2021, I passed from there. And following that, I joined uh, in the same department as a senior resident in general surgery. Uh, during that period only, uh, like uh, I was somehow uh, oriented to, uh, I got interested in GI surgery. And so like my prime focus was on GI surgery. And uh, then uh, I think from uh, around October 2021, I started preparing for uh, NEET. And then I came to know about the news that uh, there was a sudden change in pattern of need. Like previously, there was 60-50 ratio. Now uh, everything was going to come. So at that yeah. time, like during my post graduation, I had uh, means before my post graduation, while preparing for the uh, PG exams, I had uh, followed marrow. So I had some kind of belief. And when uh, I suddenly got the news that uh, marrow was uh, introducing its super specialty programs. So I thought that I should, I, I should get enrolled and I started following it. And uh, like, I have, a, I have followed all your videos previously. So like it felt more connected learning from you about general surgery. So like I started watching your videos, especially general, all general surgery videos, like all those general surgery videos, which you have in the app, I have seen at least twice from you. And GI surgery at that time, actually, uh, most of the videos were coming uh, slowly and slowly. So uh, I had supplemented other uh, other material also. But marrow was my prime focus regarding uh, general surgery preparation and for GI surgery. And, uh, Perfect. So uh, general surgery, a lot of uh, students ask me that, uh, you know, if they were to start now, how long would it take them to watch the general surgery videos? Now, somebody preparing for PG, it I usually tell them it takes 10 to 12 days if they put in six to seven hours. But of course, as a postgraduate, uh, you know, your understanding is much better. So you can do it in a shorter amount of time. So how yes, much time did it take you to watch the general surgery content? So like uh, my first uh, for, uh, my uh, like my first round of watching the videos, it uh, got over in, I think, uh, uh, seven, eight days I was able to do it. Uh, then right. following that, my further revisions were on those videos which I thought that I was weak on. I was not able to recollect. And uh, those videos I used to see on 2x or uh, uh, 1.5x. I used to revise those. And I have, uh, I'm not good uh, reading and remembering things. I, uh, my, my memory is more on video, uh, video memory. So I try to revise from the videos more. So I gave more time to videos. And at the same time, uh, I was uh, trying to cover um, whatever was being taught from the videos uh, from Bailey, because most of the videos are from Bailey and Sabiston. So, so for general surgery, I, uh, 
I completely followed whatever means you taught and whatever you advised. So I was doing with that only. For general. So I think it's also helped. You said that you used my videos for post graduation sure. preparation as well, and then to that continuity, it becomes easier for you to then yes. uh, comprehend the videos and just note down the updates and move yes. forward. Yes, sir. Your breast Perfect. videos are like they are. They are class apart. They, look, I think uh, I have seen videos across all platforms on uh, breast and like the content which you have given is not there by anyone. But look, it's the best available thing for anyone. Means I I was very weak in breast during my post graduation period also and uh, like regarding the theory part and once after watching your videos, it gave me a lot of confidence that. Even the difficult of questions I could solve. So those were and general surgery trauma related topics, which are very important right. and uh, like normally especially for INICT. Yes, sir. And we man uh, we manage these cases, but we uh, we don't know the real uh, ground reality and ground uh, like the real protocols. Many times we manage them in some way, but they are actually has they they, they are supposed to be managed in some other way. In reality, right? Uh, like you, uh, you have given so many good, uh, good examples of that Knox, uh, Knox Hospital uh, incident, which you told stab injury and all those things. So that was so relatable. I could understand that. Yes, I have also seen and how you managed it and how I managed it. So I was able to recollect and uh, correlate and remember things in that. Way. Perfect. So somebody who's starting their preparation uh, for general surgery, uh, I think so their books, the two books, like you rightly said, were, are Bailey and Sebastian, and yes. they can watch the videos and that would be yes. enough. Uh, let's move on to the GI surgery part, uh, because a lot of students would be interested in knowing about the GI surgery components. Yes. So GI surgery, you said that you watched the marrow videos and you also supplemented using other books and resources. Can you yes. enlist the books which you utilize for GI surgery? So, like for GI surgery, uh, means uh, uh, there's no other way to keep it uh, to uh, means say it that we have to read Shackleford. Uh, if right. not cover to cover, at least uh, 70 80 percent has to be covered. Uh, the Shackleford has to be covered properly. Uh, uh, the images are very important, tables are very important, and um, Bloomgard, I think, selective reading is enough because. Uh, not that much of focus is there on uh, asking questions regarding uh, from Blomgart, but uh, Shackleford, I think uh, questions are asked and they, uh, we have to at least be thorough with the tables, images and be uh, important chapters, uh, theory also. Perfect. So um, was there a list of topics which you had written down from previous year papers and were you just reading those selectively or was it uh, passed on to you by some senior? And what That's would you good. recommend for somebody who's just starting off? How do they make this list? Because a lot of students get stuck here. How should they yes. make this list of important topics? Uh, so like, uh, I didn't have the uh, had the privilege of having many seniors. So mm -hmm. like only two batches were above me and out of them only two people were preparing for GI surgery so I could get very little input from them also from there uh, what could uh, what I could understand uh, I used to go back and read the main uh, the ch uh, chapters regarding it like from Shackleford I would read uh, short vowel syndrome and all those uh, particular topics which were very important and uh, one thing which I did that uh, I invested around four or five Taking a complete book out of uh, Shackleford and Bloomgard so that uh, I could revise it multiple times, and uh, I think that that helped me in, uh, in the last uh, 10 15 days when I had to do a very rapid revision kind of thing. So, that's a great point which you're making because uh, actually, a lot of students uh, have this problem of you know concising a huge book like Shackleford or Bloomgard. So there was a very interesting thing which one of the students did for their PG exam. They created a WhatsApp group with themselves and they used to write these snippets and just post it at me as messages there and you used to just revise it in the end. So that's what you did. And I mean, uh, it is very important to revise until if you're just yes. reading all these books yes, once, you will not be able to remember the facts and the figures. 
important Perfect. things have to be revi revised many times sir important things have to be revised at least four or five times because questions are not asked copy and paste like they are not like as it is they are not asked they are somehow uh, modified and they test your uh, ability to apply also yeah so uh, how helpful were the revision videos in maro did you refer to the gi surgery and the general surgery revision uh, videos so uh, general surgery revision videos like i uh, it uh, they were uploaded before neat so i uh, i had gone through that and uh, during when i was again preparing for uh, ini ct i again uh, went through those videos uh, in gi surgery revision videos i could not uh, revise that much means uh, they were new and uh, so i i didn't thought that i would go into some uh, something so new at uh, means when the exam was so near it would just True. create a panic for me so i thought that instead of uh, going through new videos i preferred going back to the original videos and revising them at higher speed like 2x and and then going back and reading tables from that particular chapter so amongst the gi surgery component any particular faculty so the three of them there any particular faculty who's teaching you a particularly like or you would like to mention uh, sir name uh, prasanna sir is there i like him a lot yes. when it comes to hpv part he taught right. uh, he has taught the means hpv is one uh, mostly liver is one thing which uh, we are not much exposed to in general surgery practice so uh, right. the kind of perspective he gave about the subject was completely different and was and he made the topic very uh, very simple so that uh, when i uh, went back to the books and read it i was able to understand more than what i i had uh, understood by reading it on my own so uh, prasanna sir absolutely very... i i also refer to some of his videos and i have to understand a component in hepatobiliary surgery so he explained uh, things in a beautiful manner uh, yes. how were you approaching questions and test series and gts uh, and can you elaborate on that uh, for future sir, aspirants that is what i feel is uh, marrow is uh, edge above any other thing like the questions and the uh, means i would say uh, this resources are very reliable uh, whatever yeah. answers are given can we i can uh, i think i can say that we can blindly believe on them uh, instead of going back and fact checking everything uh, marrow ans mar uh, answers by marrow are like they are almost almost what i can say i didn't find any wrong answers but yes uh, so uh, i followed all i gave all the uh, gts i gave all the ini ct pattern exams and uh, and i was giving mini tests on gi surgery It means i was not giving mini test in other subjects uh, but neat uh, neat pattern exams i gave all and ini exams i gave all so I, and I so bookmark those questions and i used right. to revise like once a week i used to keep one day uh for 2 3 hours when i would revise all those wrong questions or those questions which i left uh, so that i could remember because some of the topics were such that uh, they were all data based so those values had to be remembered so i kept i made it like that sir so you very uh, rightly said that we do uh, you know such a thorough fact checking the team goes through each question in detail so that we don't yeah. bring out the wrong answer which is why it was probably taking us time to release the q bank but now yes. the q bank for general surgery and specialty is completely released and uh, we wanted to be uh, you know uh, give out credible information uh, also in these gts um, was your rank correlating with the rank which you've gotten the exam now sir i uh, mean so uh, the ini uh, ini pattern exams uh, in the last one one and a half month Uh, before the exam it was conduct i think three exams were conducted yes. all of in all of them i had rank within 5 and so it's perfect so it i think so it, that gave you the confidence also that yes. you'll do well in the exam yes uh, so one major thing because there are two separate exam patterns a neat is very different and ini approach is very different what would be your advice to juniors say who are in second year third year and now they are thinking about mch how should they approach it because like you said your neat rank wasn't great but you just turned it around in iniss so what should be the mindset and how should they approach should should they just focus on iniss 
or uh, if they are indecisive about their specialty then should they focus on neat how what should be the mindset uh, when they're preparing so actually this is a very means this was uh, this is my this was my dilemma also uh, like right. because uh, previously preparation was same for neat and for ini uh, uh, from last year only this pattern has suddenly changed so uh, the thing is that neat has more surety that you will get a seat but ini uh, has one thing that you get to study in the best college you get to study in aims delhi you get to study in jipmer and pgi which is a dream to study in and uh, uh, in uh, aims uh, in ini one thing is uh, good that you you need to be uh, good in one particular subject you don't have to be good in all aspects all pa parts of general surgery so some people find it difficult uh, to be great in all aspects so for them i think uh, ini suits better and somebody yeah. who is uh, who has uh, but if somebody has started preparing from second year i think both exams will not be very difficult preparing for both simultaneously will not be dif very difficult but yes uh, like i think uh, preparing for ini uh, one has to read uh, reference uh, uh, reference textbooks uh, shackle code and bloomgard that requires a little bit of more effort then do you also need to read the uh, latest studies i mean were you also doing it for inss and are questions asked in gi surgery from that as well uh, no sir no uh, i i didn't find any much um, uh, means only the recent advances which were discussed in videos and in the ex uh, in the uh, ini exams that were enough to like uh, there were few of the studies which were uh, uh, which were quoted in our uh, exams so i went back to those and i studied those in uh, detail uh, tried to understand them what was uh, uh, what are the outcome of that particular study and their inferences only that much i don't think uh, uh, they they are that much focused on uh, means uh, they they ask recent ex uh, advances but not to that extent okay. we have to Perfect. stick with the reliable resources so i think so like you rightly said so that that uh, the best time to start would be second year and if somebody is made up their mind that they want to go for a particular field or a particular branch then they should focus on that branch in detail and target the ini exams to get into the top uh, institutes otherwise if their overall general knowledge is good then they can uh, focus on the neat exam yes, also one of, the I also one of my seniors said that if you have sold your heart to a particular department go for ini but if you are uh, going by your brain go for the neat because so that's uh, because yeah, so that's uh, ini ini is like if you have really sold your heart to it then only you can you will put that much effort because at the end we know the number of seats are quite less and the sure. preparation pattern is completely different it's quite different now it's quite different so also one more thing which i've heard is that uh, those who are seriously preparing for iniss all of them have prepared the specialty really well so often it is the general surgery uh, questions which are the differentiator which is why i feel that uh, anyone preparing for ini should in the last one month or so definitely brush up on their general surgery because that can be the decider uh, in their ranks yes sir B basic general uh, the uh, that particular unit of uh, bailey and love uh, basic principles uh, in uh, right. initial 12 chapters they are very important then trauma uh, is very very important for aims uh, then other than that i burns think and breast, shock. Yeah. burns and shock burns shock breast breast breast, uh, breast i think uh, means for any exam is very important and they the any examiner likes to ask question in depth they can ask anything they can ask very superficial also and they can go in depth about uh, asking anything from breast so right perfect so i think so that was great advice for uh, future aspirants uh, thank you very much that for uh, sparing time and talking to uh, me and i wish you all the best from the entire marrow team and we hope that you get your dream uh, college uh, for gi surgery all the very best thank you sir thank you